Well, thanks a lot, Bob. The Yankees get a really big victory here against the Astros. I mean, we know this is a big series. Obviously, there's emotions after being in this building for the first time since the 2019 ALCS and the Astros cheating scandal. But this is also, I mean, Paul, this is just a big series for the Yankees to get as well before the All-Star break. Well, no doubt you walk into Houston playing the best team in the American League and you're trying to battle to get back in your division. Sure, it's a big game. I mean, you've you've got to finish strong, get to the All-Star break, and then kind of take a deep breath and see where you are. But tonight was a big step for the Yankees coming in here and playing a good game. Always the first game of a series, a big series. You saw it in Seattle. They got the first one. They relaxed a little bit. Tonight, even equally as big. When you're going on a big road trip, you got to go all the way out west. You know, you won two out of three. You know, you didn't finish the job and sweep them in, in the third game. But you come right back, bounce back tonight, get Houston. In Houston with a sellout crowd. That crowd was gunning for the Yankees tonight. It was payback mm -hmm. for what the Yankee Stadium crowd did to Altuve uh, the, the last go-around. So, huge win for the Yankees to make a statement. And, and, David, obviously, the pitching outstanding, and it started with Nestor Cortez. It really did, and Paul brought it up. It's a valid point. It's like, uh, you know, we all love the story. Nestor Cortez is a great story so far. We love his style. But it's Houston, and he's starting again, and it's a big win. The Yankees need every win they can get. He came through with flying colors against a lineup that does not strike out. They put the ball in play. He kept them off the barrel of the bat, induced a lot of soft contact, got some good defensive support behind him. DJ LeMayu, in particular, first base, had a stellar night and saved maybe some potential rallies. And, Paul, offensively tonight, you know, we saw the Yankees – do some things we haven't always seen, right? This is not a team that's gotten a lot of doubles this season. We saw 12 hits, production up and down the lineup, and some big hits with men on base, namely from Gardner and LeMahieu. Yeah, early in the game, I mean, you were seeing great at-bats and good, good hits, but they weren't turned into runs. And finally, in the fourth inning, Brett Gardner, huge at-bat, drove in two runs, kind of a sigh of relief. Finally, we score some runs. But you get the feeling that that's not enough against this Houston offense. It ended up being enough because the Yankee pitching was great. But then an unbelievable at-bat, in my mind, by D.J. LeMayhew. He just did everything tonight, defensively, base running, but 10 pitches, fouling off nasty pitches, and finally, you know, kind of just blowing this game open with a two-run double. Now the Yankees can win this series with a win on Saturday with Garrett Cole on the mound. Paul, I'll start with you. I mean, given what Cole has been through lately, now how big is this start for him in Houston against his former team tomorrow afternoon? Well, I think anytime you pitch against your former team, you want to do something good. And, uh, you know, he's kind of bouncing back from a, from a game that I'm sure he doesn't want to remember. So like, uh, you know, Coney said, I've said going into the All-Star break, every single win is going to mean something. If you're going to get back into this race, you got to want it more than that team on the other side. And right now you've got two games until you can take a deep breath and figure out where you are. you got to go out and figure out how to do your best. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, Garrett Cole needs to change the narrative. And until he does, the story's not going to change. Does he need the sticky stuff? What's going on? Ever since the rules were enforced, it's obviously an issue, whether it's true or not, and whether it's valid or not. And by his own statements, he says no. But the proof is in the pudding. Until he starts to put that behind him and pitch some good games and reestablish himself as the Cy Young Award potential winner in the American League, this narrative is not going to change for him. Only he can change it back to, you know what, I'm a good pitcher, and I'm a dominant pitcher, and I don't need any extra help. Well, he has a chance to change that narrative Saturday afternoon and the Yankees coming off a very big victory Friday night to take the first game of this series, guys.